Um, you can see on the top there, all I've done is drew around the axe head. Um, just so that I know I've got a guide of where to follow. And then what, what happens underneath that is entirely up to yourself really, how you want to use it, if you want a short handle, if you want a longer handle on it. Um, as long as you leave probably what, 100 mil at the top, left to fit, sorry that way, <laughs> left to fit that axe head into there, then you can do what you want under there. But the one thing that you need to do is um, work with the grain. So if you have a look on here, I've drew the axe head facing that way. I think I even drew a little arrow, but I've split it off. The axe head's facing that way. So I've already split this little bit of wood off because the wood actually came out here somewhere. And on there you can see the grain. You can see where it flakes. See, so as it's flaking, you want your axe head to point that way with the grain. So if you look on the top, you'll see, you can see it in different directions on here, but that's mainly off where it's been cut with the saw. But there's some lines on there. You see how the circles are kind of going that way. That's your, your sort of grains running that way generally. So you want, that's the general line. If you were to have your axe head going sort of that way instead, then your wood would more likely split when you hit it with power. So now, and how confident I feel with the axe. I feel it. It doesn't want to be carved that way, so I've got to go down. You'll learn more you carve. The way the grain works in wood, it does weave around a lot. And certain certain movements feel like you're peeling the wood off really nicely, and certain movements feels like it sticks. So you've just got to work with what the grain's telling you really, and you get a nicer finish. I'm just gonna bring that down. Another option, you could use a chisel and a vise, which I have done before, and just tap it down with a hammer. It's 3D, so I'm always working around the axe. They're probably the most tricky bits. But the more you do it, the more used you'll get to the axe you're using. You can use a vise as well, or a grip, or uh, some sort of bench that has a clamping technique. But if you can, I like working around a stump because you can. It's easier. To, it's faster. You're not constantly pinning things and. So all I've done there is came to the bottom of the slot that the axe head's going to fit into and um, sort of drew a line down from it. But what essentially I want to do is make it a really tight fit so I don't want to come within probably a few millimetres either side. So I'll shear them bits down and then that's the head bit. Obviously I've shifted a little bit.
and I'll basically just keep going round, starting to manipulate my shape. Again, there's loads of different ways you can use this. Do this, you can leave whatever you think you've got, but I do find that when these are sharp and when the, your timber's pinned down, they are really quite nice to use. I mean, this isn't a very strong base, so if you have a device on like a bench or something like that, it'd be even better, but I quite like working off a stump. I'm kind of a nut battle of getting things right. A little spoke shave as well. This is a really good little finishing tool for fining around angles and getting a good finish. Obviously this isn't finished. So all I've done is I've um, drew on that side the shape of the handle, uh, the axe head, sorry. And then all I've done is took note of, I mean it needs quite a big shaft going through the inside, it's quite a heavy head. Um, and also the thickness. So I'm always keeping it bigger than what it needs to be. So now all I want to start doing is carving the shape of the neck into the shape of the of the actual shaft that fits through the axe head. And then all, I, all I'll do is get it to a point where I can nearly fit it on. Um, I've done the same on the back as well and just sort of leveled it around so I've got a rough idea of where it's going. And then um, I'm going to leave the rest of the handle now until I've got this sat on roughly because I can take it back off. And then I can get a feel for what the handle actually feels like because the, with the head on it. And then I can probably shape it to suit how I want to use it. Um, obviously a straight handle usually does as good as anything but it, it's, it's surprising when you use a tool a lot how, how much easier it is to use when it's shaped to suit you. Um, so yeah it's just going to be a case of starting to shape this all around. It's on this side and I'm starting to shape around this side now on each side. And you can see it's starting to level itself off a little bit. Um, all I've done here is clean the top part off again so I've got a fresh drawn page if you like. I sat the axe head back on it and then I've just drew round so I know not to go inside those marks and then what I have done as well is I've gone round the outside and thickened it a little bit because it's easy to end up going in by accident um, and then basically you're getting it closer and closer to the shape for the, for the head. use the um, vice as a bit of a, a level so that I know I can get it square to go down the inside of the shaft um, so I'm just playing it down to where those lines are that are left and I can see where I'm going back there this is where I need to get it to come level right down we just take that guess it at whatever's level as long as it's above rather than like below um, and I'll just start playing that bit off now and then around the front, you can see it's pretty much square down there, but I think it, looking across the top, it does widen out the back as well. So again, it's just, it's just shaping it around, really using everything you've got. Up to the top, all I've done is just sat it on top and tapped it on. But obviously the rest of it still needs carving. So it'll be an ongoing game now of, you can see there where um, the axe heads come down to so this point here is pretty much the right size. So I just need to start shaving all of this. And I'm going to take that bend out in the axe as well so it's a bit more square.